Yo, what up fam and welcome to my bits, a channel where I update you on cryptocurrency earnings, cryptocurrency news and try to share some value with you guys by giving new subscribers in the comments down below dash every single day so if you're a new subscriber in the comments down below try to be the first one and comment me on there and I will do my best to try to give you some free dash that way you can feel what it's like to have cryptocurrencies hold them see what you feel about them and then if you like them uh, you know try to get some of your own so yeah today is June the 14th and the markets are looking pretty crazy Bitcoin and Ethereum are $8 billion in market cap away from each other, 8.5 billion if you want to get technical and it's looking like the flipping might happen so everybody just be ready for that. There's a lot of big things coming up, there's the UASF, user activated soft fork or the miner activated hard fork. Pretty much it's the miners that have to do with this a lot. I'll speak more about that tomorrow in the morning in a video, probably. But yeah, let's just get into the markets and check out the prices for the top 10 coins. The total market capitalization is 103 billion. Everybody's talking about a correction, but um, yeah, $10 billion correction in the market doesn't really seem like a big deal to me. That's just my take on it. Um, we got Bitcoin at 24.90, Ethereum at 30.40, I mean at 3.47, Ripple at 26 cents, NEM at 20 cents, Ethereum at 17.91, Litecoin at 28.90. Man, it feels like Litecoin is never gonna move. IOTA, which I want to point out that I've read on Steam it that a few people have had problems with the IOTA app. So it's looking like it might be a little sketch and they still need to work on the on the actual software itself. Dash IOTA is at 52 cents, Dash is at 160, Stratus is at 817, and BitShares is at 29 cents. And yeah, um there's some pretty crazy moves happening in the market and I really hope Bitcoin gets through this without looking like a failure and we we just don't know what's gonna happen we have to see the flipping might come before the, the the fork so let's see what happens with that hopefully if this happens this soft work will alleviate things and put Bitcoin back on top but we can only hope so all right guys so to get into a few stories that i read today which were pretty good the first one is about morgan stanley and how they I actually have two, uh, uh, two stories about banks today one's about morgan stanley the other one's about goldman sachs and it's all about how they've been getting calls about um looking into bitcoin and and how bitcoin is reg getting regulated because all of their clients would like to probably um get into Bitcoin. So the first story uh, reads, possible, possible explanations include investors in search of uncorrelated risk assets and technologists looking for incremental security, but government acceptance would be required for this to further accelerate the price of which is regulation. So Morgan Stanley is striking a caution note despite Bitcoin's recent booms. Regulation and by extension the government's acknowledgement is what's needed for the cryptocurrency to really take off and hit the mainstream according to the investment bank. It also says that cryptocurrencies have no use cases at all. Many of these new currencies don't actually have use cases yet, but are intended to be exchange mediums for everything from virtual goods and games to banking mechanisms for products like marijuana where legal implications are not yet fully clear. They further wrote, ICOs are funded with existing cryptocurrencies, hence driving an appreciation circle, e.g. to support slash invest in a new currency one must buy and trade an existing cryptocurrency and that was about Morgan Stanley and then there's another one that came out that I heard a few people speak about it was about a German banker who thinks that cryptocurrencies don't really have a value once instant transactions can be made by current banking systems which I don't see where he gets the logic because current banking systems use reserve banking and that doesn't really work for the people so I don't really agree but 
That's what he said. It says here, Jen, Jane, his name is Jens Weidmann, the president of Germany, Germany's Bud, Bud's Bank has warned that digital currencies could potentially worsen financial crisis in the future. He also stated in his personal opinion that instant payments would put an end to the public interest in digital currencies like Bitcoin. Germany's top central banker was speaking in Frankfurt today in a speech predominantly on the European Central Bank's quantitative easing program when he touched on the subject of digital currencies. He says, my personal take on that my personal take on this is that central banks should strive to make existing payment systems more efficient and still faster than they already are. Instant payment is a, the buzzword here. I'm pretty confident that this will reduce most citizens' interest in digital currencies. I doubt it because the reason I feel Bitcoin is, is worth something is because you can mine it. So I'm not sure where, where he's getting that from. Another story today was that yesterday, Dennis... Rodman went to Korea and it was more to visit Kim Jong-un but he was also wearing a shirt for Popcoin and I guess that's a promotional move by Popcoin to try to get notoriety and supposedly Popcoin jumped up 97% and there are other marijuana coins that I've checked out I've gone down the list and I've seen I believe like two more it says here, yesterday Dennis Rodman made another trip to North Korea. He had no problem thanking Popcoin for the opportunity. They apparently funded his trip. Wearing a Popcoin.com shirt during his trip as he was besieged by reporters. Interest in the proof of stake Bitcoin alternative understandably grew in tandem and the currency saw a doubling in price in 24 hours of trading. Also goes on to say, Rodman has a history of visiting the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un who is known to smoke marijuana. This I did not know. In a dystopian communist dictatorship which ironically has no laws against the plant. You may be dirt poor and starving half of the time. You may have the right to you may not have the right to speak your mind. You may have less civil liberty than anyone anywhere else in the world. But if you live in North Korea, you can already legally smoke pot. That's pretty interesting. That I didn't know. Rodman said of the trip, I'm really looking forward to spending time with the wonderful people of North Korea and, of course, visiting with the Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. I want to thank the folks of Potcoin.com. They realized the importance of this trip and made it possible for me. I don't know why he couldn't make it possible for himself if this man played professional basketball. <laughs> so, the last story I'm gonna read for you guys today, and it's about Goldman Sachs. It reads here, hedge fund clients have reportedly pensioned Goldman Sachs chief technician to begin covering Bitcoin, mainly on account of the poor performance of hedge funds. Tyler Durden, a financial writer, noted in Zero, Zero Hedge. Durden stated that the fact that Goldman Sachs is bearish on the market indicates Bitcoin will likely reach new record highs. He also wrote that the market daily and weekly oscillations are diverging negatively. Hedge funds have been starved of volatility in all other classes of assets according to Durden. He also noted fund managers are eagerly waiting Goldman Sachs views on Ethereum. Most hedge fund managers have stayed away from Bitcoin. However, the few that have included it are significantly are outperforming their peers, according to Bitcoin.com. So yeah, man, things are moving fast this year for Bitcoin. It's it's um, it's an interesting marking. I'm glad I got in it. Although it's it's a it's a roller coaster ride. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of things that happen that you wish you could go back on and things like that. But you know. You have to try to stay educated and make those crypto gains. That's going to cover for this video, guys. If you enjoyed anything in it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments, any thoughts on any of the topics that I covered tonight. I would love to hear your thoughts. And, yeah, just uh, keep watching the coins. Keep trying to make those crypto gains. And comment down below for some free dash. Follow me on Steemit. Good looks for any, any interactions. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.